Stephen Fry, 65, has been happily married to his husband, Elliot Spencer, since 2015 despite criticism over their 30-year age gap. However, it has not always been easy for the writer, actor, and director, to imagine a life alongside a permanent love. The broadcaster admitted that, when he was younger, he thought he would have to live in exile and shame over his sexuality. In a recent interview on the Diary of a CEO podcast, Stephen told host Stephen Bartlett how his younger self could not picture himself being successful in love as he is today. Asked about what was different today from his younger self, Stephen explained, I think I'm much calmer. I think I'm more accepting of things, I feel less need to prove myself. Of course, I found a kind of permanent love, that's very ungracious, but I got married nearly eight years ago and that's changed things. Especially talking about that child early on who knew he was gay and saw ahead of him only a life of exile and shame. Stephen admitted, the prospect that I could ever actually be married and live happily and for it to be no big deal to anybody. That's made a big difference. Back in 2016, Stephen credited Elliot with saving his life after falling madly in love and tying the knot the year before. Stephen has been open about his battle with depression and attempted to commit suicide in 2012. But the national treasure gushed over his husband, who he credited for helping him get to a great place. My husband has saved my life, Stephen told the son. I think just the happiness and security and calm of being with him. I am in a great place right now. He added, rates of suicide and self-harm are terrifying through Britain. I hope and pray there will be less incidents. My physiologist Billy has been astonishing and the medication has also saved my life after finally getting it right. He also revealed Hess much more at ease with his medication, as he continues to overcome his personal demons, but added, I do have to take it every day. During his recent appearance on Stephen's Spotify podcast, Stephen also delved into his battle with depression and his attempts at suicide. Stephen explained, I was a deeply difficult child that my parents took me to a psychiatrist when I was 14. He added, I was lost and adrift. And really what I felt wanted to do is to take my life. That started my journey into my mental health. If you or someone you know has been affected by this story, Samaritans, 116-123, operates a 24-hour service available every day of the year. Alternatively, you can find more information on the Samaritans website here.